You're watching Tick Tech Know, technology integration coach tech tips to know. All right, so this time on Tick Tech Know, we're going to look at how to add a PDF into our Google Classroom and uh, how to get the students to be able to relate to it and get it back to us because it, it's a little different than your normal uh, Word document or PowerPoint or a spreadsheet. All right, so first things first, let's find ourselves a PDF. Happy to find one at this website called superteacherworksheets.com. Uh, this was one that was marked as one of their free ones on photosynthesis and when I downloaded it it looks like this again it's giving me this nice informational text that looks like it's written on uh, more the lower the uh, um, upper elementary level uh, it's not a college or a high school looking level so that that works out for me because I'm looking for something in the upper elementary uh, so I'm gonna use this in my Google Classroom. All right, so how do I do that? I'm going to go over here, and once I've downloaded it, I'm going to move it into uh, my Google Drive because anything that I find that I want to use in Google Classroom, I don't just stick it on my laptop someplace because I want to make sure that I have it not just now but also later. So I'm going to add it to my Google Drive by going to New and File Upload and there's the file and open and in a second it's going to show up there it is and let's locate this alright good so this is a PDF uh, again PDFs are a bit different than your average word or PowerPoint or spreadsheet in that those documents are designed to be edited where PDFs not so much so you're going to need a little help thankfully there is this fantastic tool called uh, DocHub so I'm going to click on the arrow that says open with and from all the choices I have here DocHub is what I'm looking for. DocHub is going to kind of pull it away from Google Docs for just a sec and there we go get rid of that Anyways, what it's going to do, it's going to allow me to work on it, and it's saving it inside of DocHub, which DocHub only keeps it on their servers for a day, and it's going to be automatically removed. So if I want to come back to it, I want to be able to move it back to my Google Drive. Uh, again, I don't believe that Google, that DocHub is a, it belongs to Google Drive. I think it's a, that's a company that has a service that ties in with Google. All right, so I'm I'm back over here. I want to be able to use this text box to to type in some words. Um, like say down here, I want to add in what I thought was the most important part of photosynthesis. or whatever I happen to want to say. Again, I have the ability to draw lines, use this drawing tool to kind of circle pieces, uh, use the highlight tool, which is what you saw up there already marked to highlight things. And I should be able to click on that to delete the highlights. Same thing for that, hover over, find the X, and delete the pieces that I've added on here that I don't really necessarily want. go again highlight these things and what I'm gonna do again there's already a copy of it in my drive I want to be able to take the one that I've added things to let me put back the highlight I prefer sugar like my kids uh, and over here when I click on this file menu it's kind of hidden over here. I can email it to myself, but really what I want, the one that's the fastest, that's the easiest, the one that, again, because it's tied into Google, is this export to Google Drive or G Drive. When I click it, it's going to say document was successfully saved into Google Drive. Perfect. Now I can close this, or I can go and view what it looks like on Google Drive, and that's what I'm going to choose for right now. And see, there's the two highlighted parts. 
Uh, anything else that I marked on here would still be here. But essentially, essentially, this is a separate file now. This is something different. It's another copy that is inside of my Google Drive. I'll show you what I mean. Like there here, there's the one I started with, uh, and then a few minutes later, I came back and and added this one after I changed changed it, worked on it. The original one is still as it was because again, PDFs aren't designed to be edited. So I it made me a copy, and that copy is the one that's been saved with my markings and things on it. Well, that's great for you as a teacher, but for the, my students, getting them to Google Classroom, that management that Google Classroom has is fantastic because in Google Classroom, most things that they open, they can click a turn in button and it gets turned right back into me. But if I have them use this, it's not there because it, it we have to make it save to Google Drive and then I've got to get them to share with me, which that means they have to get my email address right at least once. Uh, so. Here's how I've found that we can make this run a little smoother. So I'm going to add this. I'm going to add an assignment. And I'm going to add the document. Let's go with this one. I think that's the one that's not marked up yet. And I'm going to make sure that all my kids get their own copy so they can make their own marking. They're not trying to do on e work on each other's. And then I'm going to click Assign. Again, normally this works out really well with dot with uh, Word, Docs, with uh, Slides, their PowerPoint, or with Sheets, which is their version of the spreadsheets. When I assign this, so show me how many are done, how many are not done. I am going to borrow a student login, like this one here. Oh, here's something new. And it says, oh look, there's this photosynthesis thing due tomorrow. Let me click open, and I'm going to get my own copy. That's awesome. Thank you for that. It has my name on it. I don't want to turn it in now. I want to go ahead and work on it so I can click on this just like I would a Word document or a PowerPoint. But then again, you know, here's this. I can't work on a PDF because it's not meant to be edited, but I'm going to force it to by using DocHub. And the first time I ever try to use DocHub, this comes up. It wants me to make sure I allow it to get it access to the documents I want to use it with. So I have to hit Allow. And it's going to make a copy like it did before. It's not going to mess with the original. It's going to make a copy inside of DocHub. And then I can use the tools to mark up to highlight. There's an important word in glucose. And then eventually to save back to my Google Drive. Except as a student, when I go to view it in Google Drive, Google, Google Drive, there's my copy there. But that copy isn't this one. Again, it's that second one that we ran into because what DocHub does, it doesn't mess with the original, it makes a copy for you to mess with. So this one that my teacher gave me is still unchanged. And if I turn it in, it looks like I didn't do anything. So this is the part where it gets a little weird. I'm going to have to add from my Google Drive the one that I just created and brought into uh, it from DocHub. And so now I got two. I have this one here that my teacher gave me and I have this one that is the one I just edited and changed and this is where I can click turn in. 
and saying two attachments will be submitted. That's fine. My teacher can sort that out later. I could have clicked on the X over here to get rid of one of them, but I want to make sure I have the, the right one. So I'm going to send them both just to be on the safe side. Now, back over in my teacher's access, they can come over here and they can see, oh, look, Courtney has two attachments. She's got them done. Let me click on here and see what she's got. Oh, there's two. Let's click on this. Again, they're going to have to use DocHub to read it. There's the original one. That's what I gave her, so I'm not going to give her any points for that because that's what I handed her. Let's see what she did. Ah, there's hers. Oh, look, she found the word glucose. Good job for her. So again, it's a little odd in that DocHub is making a second copy that I then have to take up a couple extra steps and get back to Google Drive to put things into my Google Classroom. But it is doable without having to worry about fiddling with having your students add on a um, the sharing part because Google Classroom manages that really well. We just have to get it back to Google Drive and then add that from Google Drive to the, the finished work before you hit turn in uh, for the teacher. Hope that helps.